So here's another uh, another project that I'm about to start. What I've done is I've ordered the PT100 coolant and oil temperature sensor, and I'm going to be using that for the uh, the coolant. And if you've seen my previous videos, uh, you would have noticed that I have a Orba 2813 dual channel display. And so the top channel I'm using as the EGT, and I'm now going to connect the coolant temperature sensor to the second channel there. And what I intend to do is to replace the original sensor unit, which is this one here with the gray, the green, um, the green cable is. What that will mean, however, is that I will lose my uh, gauge temperature, um, coolant temperature gauge in the dash. But seeing that those things are so, um, uh, well, they're not very accurate at all. I mean, they're accurate in terms of knowing when it's cold and knowing when it's extremely hot. But aside from that, there's not much needle movement. And so the variance for me is too great. Whilst with this thing, I should be able to um, get fairly accurate on the fly results. So when I'm towing or, you know, playing hard, um, I can measure the EGT, the head temperature, uh, which is this one here, and also the coolant temperature. It'll be interesting to see what the uh, what the differences are between the, the um, head block temperature and the coolant temperature. So anyway, I'm going to start on this and I'll um, film on the way. So the first thing I need to do is take the connector out so I can get a ring spanner in there. And I'm just going to use this long screwdriver to just see if I can just pop that out. Bit, um, bit on the tight side. There we go. And so that's what it looks like. So obviously this connector I'm just going to leave there. I'll zip tied in place somewhere secure against this cable here. And now next step is to remove this. Right, so things are quite tight down there. You can see there's just not much room to get anything in there. I was going to use a 12mm ring spanner, but you can see that it's almost, it's basically touching the, the head and the thermostat housing there. So next step is to use one of these, just a 12 mil socket. Thing is that you might have to kind of remove, oh, when I say remove, move the wiring out of the way to get the um, socket to fit in there. Once I start undoing that, I will lose coolant. So I've got a bucket underneath the car. Um, and the idea is for me to kind of minimize the amount of coolant loss, not because I don't have any coolant, but because I just don't want to clean up the mess. So I'll just put the uh, socket on there and we'll go from there. All right, socket in position. You can see cabling down there. And I'm going to start unscrewing this. And there we go, that's first. And we'll just go nice and slowly with this. Now the thread is a 1/8 MP NPT. So that's what I've got as my the thread on the PT100 sensor. So I'm just going to start unscrewing this and I may have to stop recording depending on how much mess it starts to make. Things are way too tight in there and they're going to get even tighter when I put this PT100 sensor in there because 
obviously being a larger unit this part here is pretty much fixed and so um, I'm even going to have less room so before I take it all out what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cover off because that's going to give me a little bit more room only a small amount but hopefully sufficient uh, for me to do the job so it's going to be just using a 13 mil just undo these three nuts quite tight on me well um, again sorry for the shaky camera work <clears throat> okay Bearing in mind there's these connectors there that are attached to it. I just put it aside there and that gives me quite a bit more room. Happy with that. I can actually get my hand in there. So I'll continue doing that. Let's have a look at the Oop, there we go, it's starting to go now. So what I'll do is I'll take the opportunity now to have a look at where the drip will end up traveling to so I can position the bucket underneath. And then once I've done that, I'll uh, remove the entire sensor. So here's the old and the new. So um, you want to go in sensor is perhaps slightly smaller you would note that if you do buy this particular sensor from uh, Orba, the PT100 that you will have the option of buying the standard length uh, end or the extra long I bought the standard and probably just as well that I did because it does look like the longer one would have been too too deep but then again I don't know because I haven't seen inside the uh, thermostat housing right I'm going to try putting this other one in the new one in and when it's tied in I'll um, continue on <laughs> 